And these are good questions because it's important to know how we know these vaccines are safe and how we study them. So initially, um, they're studied in randomized clinical trials. It was about 30,000 people in the initial trial for uh, the, the Pfizer vaccine and about 45,000 from Moderna. But after that, we have in the United States, which is probably the world's best system of surveillance for vaccine side effects. And it, I won't go into all of the ways in which potential events are reported and the way we figure out if they are real or not. But basically, in real time, the records of some now 440 million uh, doses that have been given are followed. So with that, we've been able to learn about these very, very rare side effects that I want people to know about, but also to understand that they are really quite rare. So for the J&J &J vaccine, there have been uh, a very small number of serious clotting events. It's an unusual type of clot. Uh, the frequency is about seven or eight cases per million vaccinees. So much rarer actually than getting hit by lightning, but it, you know, it is something that happens and it's real. This one predominantly affects women of reproductive age. So women, uh, it's defined as 18 to 50. And men rarely, if ever, have had these clots, so they've been uh, a very small number. For the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, there were a very small number of severe allergic reactions at the time they were given at, at a rate pretty similar to other vaccines. So one or two per million having a severe allergic reaction that uh, we take precautions. You, that we're able to treat allergic reactions on site. That's why you stick around for 15 minutes so that those can be treated. And then the issue that's come up more recently is the discovery of a very small number of cases of inflammation of the heart muscle, referred to as myocarditis or pericarditis. And what's important to know about that is that getting infected with COVID is much worse for your heart. The rate of heart involvement for COVID infections is eight to 15 times higher than it is for the vaccine. And the heart involvement from COVID itself has been on average much more severe. Um, with the vaccine, these uh, episodes of heart inflammation have shown up as chest pain, um, occasionally difficulty breathing. A number of people have been hospitalized. The median time in the hospital has been one day, but some people have spent longer. And to date, everyone uh, or virtually everyone has had complete and rapid recovery. Much, much, much better than what happens if you get severe COVID and it affects your heart. So. The other thing to know is that, you know, we don't pretend we know everything there is to know about safety. That's why these systems keep going and we'll keep looking at it. But right now, what you have to realize is you've got a lethal infection that has killed 750,000 people versus very safe vaccines that have, like all medicines, some rare side effects that we know how to recognize and treat. It's kind of a no brainer to me.